Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some Danish style butter biscuits. So you may uh, know those biscuits that you can buy in uh, the large tins, um, a butter biscuit. Around Christmas time they're very popular. They sell them in places like Costco and at least and various other stores as well. Uh, and they're uh, called something like Royal Dansk. Well, these are going to be similar to those. Those come in different shapes, and I'm just going to do one basic shape for mine, but they're going to have the same sort of texture as those biscuits, almost melt in the mouth if I get it uh, right. It's actually quite a simple recipe, but you do need a piping bag to pipe them, and I'm using a star nozzle. If you, if you don't have a piping bag, you can use a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag type thing, uh, without a nozzle and just pipe uh, shapes on your uh, baking tray on on parchment paper but if you have a, a star nozzle that would be a good idea as well so um, I'll go on to the ingredients and for this I have um, 287 grams which is one and two thirds cups plus a quarter of a cup of plain flour based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup I have 227 grams, one cup of softened unsalted butter, 113 grams, one cup minus one and a half tablespoons of icing sugar, which I have already sifted. I have uh, one medium egg, that would be large in the USA, 15 milliliters, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now, if you don't want to use vanilla extract, uh, you can use milk or something like that. Um, in, indeed, I suppose you could use, if you wanted to infuse some flavour into it, you could use uh, maybe some orange juice or something instead of vanilla extract. And I have uh, one and a half grams, one, uh, which is a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And my salt may look a bit strange, but that's because it's pink Himalayan salt. So that's all the ingredients. And I'm going to start off by um, creaming my butter and my icing sugar together. We're actually just going to mix all the ingredients together, but we'll start off with the butter and the icing sugar. I'm going to pour that in gently so that it doesn't go everywhere. And I'm going to start my mixer on a low speed so that the icing sugar doesn't go everywhere um, in clouds. And then I'll speed up and uh, beat them to beat these together until uh, they're pale and fluffy, basically. And so that's uh, mixed together quite nicely. I'm going to add in my egg and my vanilla extract. And I'm going to whisk those together and get those fully incorporated. That's good like that and then I'm going to put my salt into my flour and I'm going to add the flour into the mixture so I'm going to mix this on a low speed until it begins to come together then I'll switch to my spatula and continue folding it in until it's fully combined A 
and so that is just about mixed fully mixed in and combined and I'm going to put some of that into a piping bag that I already have a nozzle attached to I'll just put about half in for the for the time being and set, set the rest to one side and then I'm going to pipe that onto a baking tray which I have lined with parchment paper and I have just drawn a rough two inch circle on the underside of the parchment um, and that is just to give me a guide to where I want to pipe. I'm going to do roughly two inch uh, circles for mine. And so with about half of the, the batter in, I'm just going to push that through and then I'm going to pipe it just into a circle like that and do the same leaving a gap in between them like that and I'm going to do the rest uh, do another uh, tray with some more of the batter so I have two trays piped out um, and I have some more batter to do another tray um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two trays into my fridge and chill them while I preheat my oven to 180 degrees celsius 160 celsius with a fan 350 fahrenheit and when the oven is preheated I'm going to put the trays into the oven and bake the Danish style butter cookies for 12 to 15 minutes. I want them to just begin to color around the edge and when they start to color around the edge and the, I don't want them a, a dark brown I just begin to color a little bit I'm going to take them out of the oven leave them on the tray for a couple of minutes then gently transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely bake off the rest and then I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the Danish style butter cookies for, for about 14 minutes and some of them coloured rather slightly more than the others which was fine. I took them out of the oven and allowed them to cool down um, and put them onto a wire rack. So this is what they look like and I have a couple of different shapes here um, and they do sort of spread out just a little bit uh, but they've retained the shape reasonably well I think and they've baked up quite nicely so I'll have a taste of one have a taste of this one mm. very very nice it has the the buttery taste um, with an almost melt-in-the-mouth texture and a sweetness to it as well. Very easy to eat several of these, one after the other, I would think. Now, you could do things like, um, you can make any shapes you want, basically, and you could put some uh, glacé cherries on the top or some sprinkles or something like that, whatever you want to do. Um, but these are perfect little things to package into uh, three or five in little bags and giveaways gifts in the lead up to Christmas so that's going to be it for this recipe I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future 
So until then, happy baking.